Oh dear, this doesn't really fit the script, does it? Dutch farmers in revolt, extremist populist parties on the rise across Europe, countries like Spain, France and Italy on the precipice of a sovereign debt crisis, and France ablaze with supposedly the most civilised nation on earth, a sophisticated and mature Western democracy in a state of near civil war, with the authorities close to losing control of some of France's great cities. This really doesn't fit the script, does it, with ultra-green Germany reliant on imports of oil and gas to power their factories, having bankrolled Putin's war machine for years, and now granting licenses for new coal mines on German soil. This really doesn't fit the script, does it, with both Germany and the Eurozone deep in recession. Meanwhile, peaceful, diverse, integrated Britain building a modest but sustained economic recovery. We have law and order on the streets and a political scene as mild as a night out with Mary Berry and a country which is happily recession free. But we're out of the European Union and their wonderful grown up politics and their brilliant energy policies and their amazing wisdom on the economy and their well functioning societies. I thought they were better than us. And it would be a disaster if we left. What's going on? I'm so confused. It's a matter of deep amusement to me that as the credibility of the EU hangs by a thread thinner than posh spice on a diet, Brexit gets better by the day. The decision by 17.4 million people to leave the bloc in 2016 is ageing better than Sophia Loren. Now, what's happening in France is very sad, particularly for the poor lad that was shot dead by cops, a horrific crime which sparked all of this. And it's a tragedy for French families who are afraid to leave their own home after five nights of torched cities, eye-watering violence, arson, looting, burglaries, stabbings, muggings, shootings. It's a terrible state of affairs. And I'm sure that you'll join me in praying for a resolution to this crisis. France is a great ally, and in spite of a bumpy relationship over the years, they are our friends. But it's worth noting that if we were still in the bloc, with free movement, those causing such carnage in France would be free to come here and do the same. It's a reminder of two things. That if you have migration into a country, you must work to integrate those who arrive, something that we're very good at, as our fabulously diverse cities demonstrate, and something the French do terribly, with the isolation, enforced poverty, and ghettoization of migrant populations, kettled in no-go areas around Paris, Marseille, and beyond. Britain always has been, and always will be, a better social mix. There is work to be done, but the sad French story reflects well on melting pot Britain. The other thing the French crisis demonstrates is the importance of border management. What's the point in having territorial boundaries if you don't police them? Britain has prospered mightily from immigration, and there will always be a humanitarian argument for taking people fleeing for their lives. But uncontrolled illegal migration is an unedifying spectacle and is unacceptable to the vast majority of the British people. People breaking the law to cross the channel, largely fit young men and of late predominantly Albanians, lobbing their phones and documentation into the sea as they make that perilous crossing, is a humanitarian, national security and economic disaster, something the French are literally dealing with as we speak. Don't take my word for it. Here is a video released by the Polish government effectively trolling and taking the mick out of France as they proudly demonstrate how rigorous their border controls are. Take a look. How could you argue with that? By the way, the Remainers have been very quiet this week, haven't they? 
The idea that we're supposed to look up to countries like France for their mature governance and grown-up politics is now laughable. The National Front will probably win the next French election, and far-right populism is on the rise across the continent. But we're the bad people, the horrible extremists that voted for Brexit. Do keep up. The cost of living crisis that you, my viewers and listeners, are struggling with every day is the number one issue facing this government, absolutely. But law and order on the streets and a country that enforces its borders is of critical importance to most people too. Outside of the EU now, although it's not perfect, Britain is largely getting it right. And who would swap places with war-torn France or recession-hit Germany? And could anyone seriously make the argument for rejoining that shit show now? Good luck with that. As Europe descends into economic, political and societal chaos, the case for Brexit grows by the day. Thank God we're out.